Morgan at Breakfast, Friday morning, uh, the 3rd of October. We have, uh, to be fair, Daz has, has kind of given the game away, Jeff. I had a big build-up, I had a whole <laughs> load of things to say, and, you know, Tyler's funding for cure leukaemia, diagnose yourself in 2003, two big challenges next year, but Daz kind of blew it all out of the water, really. I had this kind of big build-up thing, so oh, I'll just that's... say, Jeff... Jeff Thomas, legend, thanks for coming in. Good morning. You all right? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Is this normal for you, half past seven on a... Well, I've got to say, I was up at four o'clock doing... Four? Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, oh. doing media stuff, uh, which, but I mean, it's it's promoting what we're going to be doing next year, so it's all good. Absolutely, because we've got uh, two big challenges next year. Yeah. Tell us about these. Well, the first one's going to be a more of a mass uh, partic- participation, which is... We're trying to get to about 250, 300 people to cycle down to Paris from London. Um, but we do it slightly different. We're, we've done it for the last eight years um, for different causes, but cure leukemia, obviously close to my heart. We're, yeah. we're bringing it uh, to Birmingham, really. And what it is, is we have a closed road, so we have different speed groups, so you're, you're in a safe environment all the way down to Paris. So you in your different speed groups, you've got the guys who want to go quick in group one, and then we call it the social group in the last group, where they just, you know, they're just the challenge of getting down there is something special. Yeah. So but by the time you get to Paris, it's, it's a, a great achievement for everybody. <laughs> by the time you get to Paris, you're aching so much, you don't care what group you've been in. Uh, exactly, just... but there's a nice little party that we put on. I can well. imagine it is. Which, uh, which group do you tend to, to be in? Fast group, social group? Well, I, I, I normally mix, but I, last year I was in the in the fast group last year. I tested really? myself a little bit last year. Um, so you've got the, the London to Paris um, ride, and what's the other one? Well, it's 10 years ago next year. I, I actually uh, completed a Tour de France, and so we're going to revisit that. We're going to put that on again, but again, we're going to do it at such a level. We're inviting just 20 people to take part, so they, they're going to get the tour experience. All this is rolling road closures, but a day ahead of the tour. So for 21 days, we'll be sat in the saddle, and you know we're we're gonna. It's going to be a big price ticket. It's fifty thousand pounds a person to take this on. Wow! And but like I say, it, all the cyclists out there, it's, it's a, a boom in sport anyway, which yeah, it has yeah. been over the last 10 years. I've yeah. seen it grow since I did first did the tour. And I always said I wanted to do it again, but the reason I'd do it again is to raise hell of a lot of money for this great cause. And yeah. uh, it's, the time's right. And strangely enough, it, the tour starts next year. On the 4th of July, the exact day I was diagnosed with the illness. So it's uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a special time. 11 years now. It is, yeah, 2003, wasn't it, mm-hmm. when you were, you were diagnosed? 11 years since the, the diagnosis. Where you, I mean, you mentioned the, the, the date there in july it clearly it's something that's in your mind do you mark the day when it comes about or is it just something that's there no it's, it's something that's there all the time but i do mark the day yeah because oh, i mean because july the 4th is obviously of course yeah yeah, yeah but um no it's, it's it's something as soon as somebody mentioned july the 4th i go back i'm on bristol road where i got a phone call from my doctor really i'm, I'm outside the Sally oak pub and i'm just watching all these students you know having a nice afternoon drink and yeah. i'm sat in the car absolutely you know my life has changed with that phone call so yeah, yeah. so yeah because they because the they gave it was it was three years to live wasn't it that they gave you first day was three months three months thankfully i went to see charlie craddock the next day in the qe and he gave me three years after having intense sort of chemo and uh, yeah yeah went on this special machine washed my blood out and somehow you know diagnosis the next day was three years so yeah, that was a bonus, bizarrely, and it put me in a, a nice place, you know, mm. it was bizarre. But um, I was fortunate, you know, and this is where my sister was a very good match for, I could have a, a bone marrow transplant. Yeah. And so ever since then, I've been grateful to the, the team that got me to where I am now. Yeah, so you've, you know, you never have to, she never has to buy you a present for Christmas oh, or birthday or my anything. My sister never lets me forget it. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, I've done, yeah. Lords it um, over you. Yeah. <laughs> And rightly so. <laughs> well, absolutely. Yeah, I was going to say she gave you a pretty decent gift. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, it, it is incredible. What's the What's the latest now? Where are you now? The, I'm, the... I'm. Well, I'm obviously ten years uh, remission next year as well. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, I, I to be honest, I 
got on this uh, path where I was positive anyway. Yeah. And if something happened, it happened. I was going to fight it, you know, and that's where I am today. If something comes back, I'm just like the next man in the street. Um, h- how long do they... Because I'm guessing you still kind of go in for regular checks. Or I should that, do. <laughs> really? Oh, is that, is that, we're going to get a phone call now going, right, he needs to come straight here because we, we need to be checking him. Does that is that supposed to continue for a while? It's or, supposed to. It's supposed to. I probably should be every six months now, but, you know... How many I, have you missed now, Jeff? Oh, I can't remember the last time I was in. The, the, the only time I see my professor now is when we're doing uh, fundraising events. And really? Like this. We were at one yesterday, and he mentioned something, but, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> <laughs> He's just, just getting blasé now. <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, what's the, with with the the, uh, the the two challenges that you've got the London to Paris and the and the cycle in the, um, the the Tour de France as mm. well? Um, uh, you know you can get it on a games console now, don't you, Jeff? You know you can do it on a. You can do the Tour de France. There. You don't you um, don't need to actually go and do oh, this. No, I know. <laughs> but this is, I mean, it's in serious, we're, we're, Charlie's Craddock has, has asked me to raise two million pounds over the next two years, and we believe with these two events. A year over the next two years, we'll we'll achieve that. Really? So that's the target: two million quid. We we know we we know with the London Paris event, we can raise six hundred thousand pounds. You know, and with a tour, we're aiming to raise a million pounds. You know, we've got sponsors already queuing up to get involved with this, and that'll just make the event, um, you know, free in many ways. Yeah, but, absolutely. And then all the money that people do put in. Is going to the cause. Uh, if people uh, want to get involved, if people want to read more, if people want to donate, is there a website? Is there somewhere they can go and, and just find out a little bit more? Probably the easiest thing because I always forget these websites because of all these numbers and everything. But if you go to Cure Leukemia's website, all the details will be on there and there'll be click throughs to the different events that they're putting on. Okay, I know we've put up a, a thing on our Facebook page as well, BBC WM 95.6. We've put links to uh, the story and then that'll link through so people can uh, can find out a little bit more. Jeff, always a pleasure to, to speak to you and uh, great that you came in and good to speak to you this morning. I'm sure we'll speak to you kind of either when you're doing this, before you're doing this, probably not so much after you've done it. Not I'm for a while. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see, I'll see you on the training ride, shall I? Anyway, uh, Jeff Thomas, <laughs> uh, in this, <laughs> if I genuinely, if I thought my body was in any way, in any kind of shape that I could do it, I would. I'd come along and do it. But I just, I, I just don't think I can get it sorted. I, I don't think, think I can get it together. I think we need to have a chat. All right, I think we will. That's for, I'll, if if somebody thinks they can sort me, then I will happily do it. But uh, I, I don't I've think got I can the get fit. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll talk. Jeff Thomas, thanks for coming in. Cheers.